adventure story for you from Kellogg's Raisin Bran. The cereal with the fruit already on it. Oh boy, raisins. And toasted bran flakes. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Today, Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal that comes out of the box with the fruit already on it, brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, One Man Rule. Guess what? I just opened a box of Kellogg's Raisin Bran, and you know what I see? Big golden flakes of bran and lots and lots of raisins. Oh, boy, these are some raisins. Big, plump, and tender, all honeycomb-coated to keep them ripe and ready to eat, too. It's a great combination, this Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Ask your mom to serve you this breakfast treat real soon. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the fruit already on it. United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his faithful deputy Jingles were always on the lookout for trouble, but they didn't expect it to turn up so quickly the afternoon they rode into Sage City. Before they could draw their six guns, they were greeted with gun smoke and action in a town that knew only one man rule. Sage City sure hasn't changed, Jingles. Yeah, nice of them to welcome us to town. Come on, Jingles, looks like trouble. Hop on. Get along, Joker. Grace Muller, stop waving that ammunition. Why, Wild Bill and Jingles. What are you two doing in Sage City? Well, just passing through, and I think we'll keep on a-going. Look like you meant business with those two Jaspers, Grace. Yeah. What got you so riled? Come on into my office, boys, and see for yourself. Hmm. Thought maybe Sage City might have calmed down since we put that Andy Marlowe behind bars. Another double-dyed varmint stepped right into his shoes as soon as you and Jingles left town. Hoppin' horny toad. Looks like a tornado swept through here, Grace. Someone sure mangled that printing press. Yeah, they think they can stop me from getting out the Sage City Sentinel. But I got a spare press hidden away. Figured something like this was going to happen. Sit down, boys. Them two hombres you were shooting at do this, Grace? Yeah, and I caught them at it, red-handed. They two are Duke Trent's gun slicks. Duke Trent? Don't think I ever heard of him. He's a bulldozing coyote who's taken over Sage City, lock, stock, and barrel. He owns that fancy gambling place we passed coming up the street. The gold pot? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's his. Huh. And he owns the general store, a feed house, practically the whole shebang, except my newspaper in the United States Post Office. When did this Duke Trent come to Sage City? Oh, about a year ago, I reckon. Where's he hail from? Nobody rightly knows. Everyone's scared of him and his one-man rule. Me? I've been printing the truth about that lion sidewinder. What's he been doing? Trying to make you sell out, too? Sure. But a Muller's always run this newspaper, and that's the way it's going to stay. So he's trying to run you out of business, huh? Them no good gun slicks of his get in range of my 44s again. Now, I'll... simmer down, Grace. Jingles, how'd you like to mosey down to the gold pot and maybe make the acquaintance of Mr. Duke Trent? Now, be careful, boys. That horned rattlesnake would soon shoot you as look at you. Well, Bill and me have met up with a lot of rattlesnakes, Grace. <laughs> we figure all you got to do is to step on them and they start squirming. Who are you looking for, strangers? Your boss around? He ain't here. Well, maybe we can dig him up somewhere. I said he ain't here, mister. Now get. Sounds like an order, mister. You heard me, meal sack. Hey, now, who are you shoving? We don't take orders from two-bit gunslingers. You're talking yourself onto a cold slab, you nosy star packer. Hearts! You dirty fool. Better keep that hog leg in its holster if you don't want to lose that shooting arm. What's all the ruckus down there? All you saddle tramps are looking for trouble, Duke. Go get that hand fixed up, Spade. What do you two want? 
Well, we was just paying a friendly little call on you. Seems I've seen you someplace before, Trent. Maybe I got one of those faces. I ain't never seen you. Of course, this other gent didn't have a mustache. I've always had a mustache. Since the day he was born, huh? <laughs> That's silly. This other gent had a scar, too, a star-shaped one on his left cheek, just like you. What are you driving at, Hickok? Seems he knows your name, Bill. Well, I knew you blew into town, saw you riding past. But you said you never saw me before, Trent. I could have sworn, though, you and me had a shooting acquaintance once outside the Signal Rock. Never been there. If I remember right, a posse I was in was after someone who looked just like you. You got the wrong party, Hickok. Back in Signal Rock, they think maybe this gent killed a man. Was trying to run him out of business. Look, Hickok, I ain't got time to be chewing a fat all day. What do you want? Nothing, nothing at all, Trent. Like I said, uh, me and Jingles were just paying a friendly little visit. Two hard cases are going to be six feet under when I'm through with them, boss. If I'd have seen you reach for your gun, I'd have blasted your hand off, Morgan, not just nicked it. Oh, but Duke, Hickok and that big sidekick of his were asking for trouble. Next time you play a dumb trick like that, you're out. They got something on you, Duke? Not as much as I've got on you, Morgan. Oh, but you ought to show that smart marshal who's running this town. You leave Hickok to me. Right now, I got a job for you. Round up the boys. You're going to take a ride up to Matt Wheeler's ranch. His foreman... Big Biff? Yeah. He was telling me Wheeler's hiding an extra printing press that belonged to the Muller woman. I savvy. You want me and the boys to wreck it, huh? That's a general idea. But be sure Wheeler's not around to tell the story. Some meal, Grace. <laughs> Ain't tasted cooking like yours since Bill and me left Sage City. Oh, oh yeah. go on it, you Jingle Jones. I've been half starved to death. That's how I come by this stylish figure. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you keep that spare printing press you were telling us about, Grace? Out at Matt Wheeler's ranch. Wheeler? Yeah. He just bought a ranch here a few months ago. You don't know him, Bill. Sure you can trust him? Matt? Oh, sure. Know him since he was knee-high to a coyote. We was kids together back in Eagle Mound. Matt's been wanting to marry me for years. Now, just a minute. You're promised to me, Grace. <laughs> I'm old enough to be your ma, <laughs> Jingles. Well, how about some more of that deep-dish apple pie, boys? Well, I'll go see who it is, Grace. I'm not expecting anyone tonight. Mm, bet it's another admirer. Push your head, Jingle. It's raisin, 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 raisin. Kellogg's raisin bran. The breakfast food with fruit already on it. It says here I'm supposed to tell you Wild Bill fans all about Kellogg's Raisin Bran. But really, all I have to tell you is just that there is a cereal that comes with the fruit already on it. That's something, isn't it? And then when I tell you that that fruit is big, tender raisins and lots of them, what else do you have to know to get hungry for Kellogg's Raisin Bran? Well, I'll tell you also, you ought to know that Kellogg's make the best toasted bran flakes you ever tasted. Nice, crisp ones, too. But say, I'll bet you'd really like to know how Kellogg's keep those raisins so plump and tender in the box. The secret of that is honeycomb coating. These raisins are dipped in honeycomb to seal in flavor and tenderness. Now I've told you why Kellogg's raisin bran is so good, find out for yourself how good it is. Have Mom serve you some soon. In fact, before you forget it, better ask Mom for Kellogg's Raisin Bran today. Help yourself to Raisin Bran, Kellogg's famous Raisin Bran. Get it today, as soon as you can, as soon as you can, as soon as you can. Kellogg! <laughs> When Jingles answered the door and was met by gunfire, Wild Bill feared the worst as he rushed to the side of his saddle partner. Jingles! I'm all right, Bill, but they got... It's Matt Wheeler! Come on, let's get him inside. Easy now, Jingles. Take him into the living room. 
over on the couch. One of you better go get Doc Winters. Matt. I was coming to tell you. Don't talk, Matt. They, Duke, French gang, got the printing press. Matt? Those low-down yellow back shooters. Come on, Jingles. We're going down to Duke Trent's. No. No, it's hard. Killers will get you two. Wait. Round up some men. Men? There don't seem to be a man left in Sage City. They're all scared local. We wait. Trent and his gang will have their tracks covered with a pack of lying alibis. Oh, be careful, boys. Sure. Me and Bill's got nine lives. <laughs> At least I hope we have. <laughs> You dumb slug, I ought to kill you, Morgan. Oh, but boss, me and the boys did like you said. We mashed that printing press up good. Nobody will be able to fix it. Yeah, but Hickok will be gunning for us, so. Him and that jughead partner of his was in Grace Muller's house when you shot Wheeler. Well, even if they was there when Wheeler got it, we can take care of them. They can't prove a thing. They'll be coming here. Better get the boys spayed. Have them cover the bar. And you come back up here to the office. I got a plan. I'd like to pick off that Hickok myself. No killing here, you understand? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, Duke. When you come back up, get in that closet by the door. Tell the boys to send Hickok and Lard Barrel here. And as soon as they walk in, poke those guns of yours in their backs. What you aiming to do with them, boss? Take them out to Lodestone Canyon. <laughs> Did that abandoned mine out there? Yeah. <laughs> we'll seal them in for good with a couple of sticks of dynamite. Sure sound like they've been rode hard, Bill. Probably all the way from the Wheeler Ranch. This time we're not asking to see Trent. Trent's in all right, Bill. I see a light burning up them stairs. I could use a pair of eyes in the back of my head right now. They won't do anything. Here. Hey, another friendly visit, boys. Your gang murdered Matt Wheeler, Trent. Yeah, well, that's news to me, Hickok. They've been downstairs all evening, and I got proof. Those horses outside weren't just standing there all night. Well, they could belong to my, uh, customers. Hey, what in tarnation... That's a gun poking your back, meal sack. Don't you move either, Hickok. I'll just relieve you two boys of that heavy hardware. You won't be needing that where you're going. Well, you won't get away with this, you low-down sidewinder. Keep that trap shut. Hmm. Okay, Spade, get the boys. I'll keep these two covered. We'll go out the back. <laughs> it's too bad we put Grace Muller out of business, Duke. She'd have a real big story to print tomorrow about the disappearing marshal and his jughead deputy. <laughs> Tie their hands and feet, boys. Got any last words to say, Hickok? How about you, you big ox? Not hard to figure out what you're planning to do, Trent. Smart marshal. You better take a few deep breaths while you can, wise guys. I inspected this mine personally. And there ain't no way out. But Bill Hickok here, he might scrape out a way with his bare hands. That is, if you're both alive. No, oh, shut up. Okay, boys, they're tied up good enough. Go get the stuff ready. You coming, boss? Go ahead, Spade. Be there in a minute. If you're still wondering if I'm that party who was after over Signal Rock, Hickok. Yeah, that's me. You're going to trip yourself up one of these days, Trent. Yeah, maybe. But you won't be around to see it. Holy jumping Jehoshaphat. If we ain't in one big fix now. We sure are. Well, you reckon we're going to get ourselves out of this one, Bill? Bill, what are you doing? Try rolling over this way, Jingles. Where? Over here, where I am. Well, there's a kind, kind of a ledge. Maybe we can stay under. Ow! Wow, wow, I found that dad burn ledge. Hit my head on it good. All right, lie still, Jingles, and don't move. Don't you worry. <laughs> Frank
Stranglers, the days of raiding the refrigerator for an after-school between meals or evening snack are over. Nowadays, when a fella or gal is looking for a sweet treat, most all of them head straight for the kitchen shelf where that box of Kellogg's Sugar Pops is kept. Now, there's a real tasty between meal snack, a snack you can enjoy right out of the box anytime. And say, those Kellogg's Sugar Pops are powerful good eating for breakfast, too, with just milk or cream. But either way, as a cereal or as a snack, you never need sugar because the sweetening's already on them. How about reminding Mom to bring home a package with the pictures of Guy or Andy on the front today? Kellogg's Sugar Pops. Yippee! Sugar Pops. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Now, sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar pops are tops. Just as Wild Bill suspected, Duke Trent and his gang dynamited the mine, leaving him and Jingles tied and trapped. The two partners made their way to a sheltering ledge and lay there, under it, hoping it would protect them from the falling rocks. Jingles. Yeah? You all right? Just sitting pretty. Well, I guess that does it. Well, what do we do now? It's getting hard to breathe in here. What's that noise? Did you hear it, Bill? That's me, Gene. What you doing? I'm trying to cut this rope off my wrist. Trying to what? See if you can stand up, Jingle, so your back's facing this sharp ledge. And set your hands against it and try cutting that rope. Well, if I can get up. Gosh, darn it, they sure tied me up. Take it easy, partner. Bill. Over here, Jingles. I got my hands loose. Oh, so have I almost... You see a way out, Bill? Maybe. You see over there by the mine entrance? You mean what was a mine entrance? Look at them rocks piled up. There's a thin ray of light seeping in. Yeah. Yeah, I see it, Bill. Come on, let's get that big boulder out of the way. Well, this looks like a lifetime job, Bill. Harder, Jingle. Push. Come on, push. We can't move this boulder, Bill. It's like a mountain. When a man's mad enough, he can move anything, Jingles. Even a mouth. How do I know you're not lying to me, Trent? You got my word. Your word. Well, that's no good. I'm offering you a good price. Sure. Good price for my office. You and your sneaking hoodlums wrecked all my equipment. Make up your mind. You'll be getting the land my business is on for practically nothing. Then you'll own the whole main street of Sage City, almost. <laughs> That's the general idea. You're going to sign this bill of sale or not? I got no choice. Not if you want to see your friends again. See them alive. Yeah? How do I know they're still alive? And don't tell me I got your word, Trent. You're too smart to let Wild Bill go. I'll take my chances. Yeah. You're well protected with that bloodthirsty lot of drifters you got working for you. I ain't got all day. My boys are waiting for word from me. You let that gang of yours do your killing. You run people out of business. Steal their land. And make it all nice and legal. Like this paper you want me to sign? Come on, quit stalling. All right. You pack rat. Boss! What do you want, Morgan? He got out of the mine alive. I told you we should have put a couple of slugs in him. The mine? They're heading this way, Duke. Red's seen him riding outside of town. The boy's outside. They said they wasn't mixing with the law. Not here in Sage City. Don't want no price on their heads. Oh, it's chicken hot. They don't want Hickok gunning for them, so they're getting out. Get over by that window, Morgan. I'll pick them off if they start to come in here. They won't shoot. Not with a muller woman here. Hey! Where'd you go, boss? Drop your guns if you don't want me to use mine, and these are loaded. Now kick them over here. Oh, you, you let go of me. 
Get her over by that window, Spade, and keep her in front of you. Okay, you can. I'll check the back door. They might try taking Spice and Crack. Ah, you take it easy, lady. And you won't get hurt. Bill and me caught this creeping coyote hightailing it out the back door. Bill and Jingles, watch out. Reach your cock. You too, Lord Barrow. Don't worry about me, boys. Get this horn real. Good work, Spade. You stay where you are, Trent. Or I'll let you have it, too. You've gone loco, Morgan. Trying to sneak out on me, huh? Leaving me here to do your killing. Well, for a long time, I've been wanting to settle things with you, Trent. I'm tired of taking your guff. Look, Morgan, I wasn't... Keep those hands up. Why, you... Get out of the way, Greg. You ain't getting me. None of you. That's what you think, Trent. And that goes for you, too, Morgan. Bill. Well, I get some light here. Bill. Jingles, are you hurt? No, we just bruised our knuckles a little. Looks like we got them. Yeah, alive, with enough counts on them to put them two skunks behind bars for the rest of their lives. And right where they belong. All we got to do now is round up the rest of that gang. And settle that crooked sheriff who's been working for Trent. Well, boys, I got work to do. I got a paper to get out, an extra edition. But I thought both your printing presses were all... I've been in this business long enough to know how to put a makeshift press together. I'll get one working, or I'll get a paper out if I have to write it in longhand. Come on, Jingles. Grace is raring to go to press. Like these two hombres here are raring to go to jail. I'm going to run a story on how Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles Jones cleaned up Sage City. <laughs> That'll be good news for everyone. Say, do you happen to have a photograph of yourselves? I'd like to run it on the front page alongside the story. I have one of Jingles. Got it with me, too. Here, take a look, Grace. Bill Hickok, now you show them. <laughs> Why, Jingles Jones, what a cute baby you were. Well, I ain't changed so much that just growed a little bigger. Now, Grace, you wouldn't oh, print that. Oh, don't some. worry. I'll take a new one of you two boys. All right? Well, it sure is all right. I always did want to get my picture in the paper, but not that one. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Thanks for being with us today, folks. Andy, suppose you tell our friends about Friday's Wild Bill Hickok story. Right, Guy. It's about one of the doggondest races you ever heard of. And Jingles is at the reins. Don't miss this one called Dead Heat. So long, kid. And see you Friday. Choo-choo-choo. Choo-choo-choo's your favorite cereal. You tell them, Andy. Yeah, from Kellogg's Variety Pack. Yes, keep the whole family happy every morning for breakfast. Roll out freshness and variety. Ten individual serving size boxes with ten assorted Kellogg's cereal favorites, including two ready-sweetened treats that you get in Kellogg's Variety Pack. Choo-choo-choo's your favorite. From Kellogg's Variety Pack at your grocer's. <laughs> Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Virginia Gregg, Barney Phillips, and Clayton Post. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Paul Sinor, music by Dick Arant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild!